let's dissect these null types. Int question mark i gets five. Int int question mark j gets six. Int question mark sum gets i plus j console right line sum. Now if I didn't have the question marks here, let me just alt drag over that and hit delete and control F5. Hopefully no surprises. 5 plus 6 makes 11. Now adding the question mark here semantically, which means just meaning wise, means I can have any value between int dot max value and int dot min value uh, plus one additional value which is null. Okay, I'm just going to run this. All we've done is add these question marks on here. Let's run this. Hey, the result is still 11. So it's kind of cool. If we don't have nulls on any of our values, it still works the same as as the regular types. Okay, but I certainly could come in here and say J gets null. And what's going to happen there is it's going to be 5 here. So this will be 5. And then semantically, it's I'm adding 5 to null. Now the compiler will probably... Oh, the compiler won't complain. Oh, is it complaining? The result of the expression is always null. Yeah, okay, it's a warning. But the build still succeeded. So what's 5 plus null? Well, 5 plus I don't know. Okay, remember. Well, if I take 5 and I add it to a number that I don't know its value, then the result of that will be null. Okay, does that make sense? 5 plus I don't know is still I don't know. All right, I need to know in both cases. So let me just put I back here and J back here and watch. I'll put a breakpoint here, hit a five, hit the breakpoint, and look at sum. It is null. All right, just to prove that work. Let me control F5. Five plus null is null. Anyway, when you write the question mark out here, the compiler literally just translates that to nullable of the type that we're making nullable. In this case, int. It could be char, could be double, could be any struct you make, could be built-in structs like the date time, any any value type. Right, it just says nullable like this. Now, if you're unfamiliar with generics, uh, go watch the first probably one or two videos in the generics programming playlist, and, and uh, th that should be sufficient for what I'm doing here. But I have this nullable of this int, and let me show you that this still works. Control F5. Obviously, we're adding null here, so nothing prints out. But what if I change this back to a 6? Control F5. Ah, look, there's our 11 again. So what is this nullable thing? I'm going to click on it, put my cursor right there, and hit F12 to go look at the meta information for nullable. And we can see by inspecting it, yes, it's a generic type. It's a value type itself. Okay, and there's a restriction that whatever you pass in for the generic type must also be a value type. All right, it doesn't make sense to to say uh, object nullable uh, u gets I don't know whatever I mean, it doesn't really matter uh, because object is a reference type. Okay, and reference types can have the value null. So it doesn't make sense to allow this. In fact, when I build it, look at the compiler compile error. The type object must be non-nullable value type in order to use it as a parameter t in the generic type or method system.nullable. So it's actually interesting. This this error is pointing more out to the fact that, hey, I'm trying to replace your object question mark with nullable object, but but object I can't pass object here because that's my t argument back here, let me do a new vertical tab group. That's my T argument into nullable. And this T has to be a struct. So that doesn't make sense. This is a special class made for value types. Um, let's uh, actually, let me, let me get rid of the error here. And get rid of the error here. Put my int back in. F12 again on this so we can look at it again. Oh, look at this. Look at this nullable class. It's short. Okay, actually nullable struct. Excuse me. It's short. Um, you see here, here's a constructor, looks like it takes the value, uh, there's these operators I'll talk about, maybe not this video, maybe the next one, who knows. Um, operator overloads, don't worry about it, these are conversion operators we'll talk about. Bool has value, oh that's kind of interesting, T value, well that sounds like it's the actual, uh, equals get hash code, ooh what are these, uh, yada yada yada. Nullable, this struct nullable is simply a wrapper 
It's a class built to hold this value. All right, short and sweet, that's its purpose. Now, I'm Jamie King. I can't stop there. We have to dissect this more. And so that's what I'm going to do in uh, future videos. But if you feel like you've had enough, skip all the knowable videos. Believe me, this is no rocket science that uh, you can't live without. But if you are into rocket science, then keep watching the videos. Otherwise, skip over the knowable videos and you can move on to the next subject.